Christopher Mosley here. I'm back with another unboxing. Uh, today I'm here with the DJI OM4, which is a phone handheld stabilizer. Um, it's got a, a magnetic clamp, which is famous for the DJI OM3. Didn't have that feature, so this one is really known for that magnetic clamp. Uh, that clasp around your iPhone or whatever kind of phone you have, but it's more famous for the uh, iPhone lineup. I'm going to be doing a new type of unboxing this time. Not really much commentation um, while I'm unboxing it. This is just a voiceover over the foot footage. I'll just be unboxing it and kind of talking you through it and explaining why I picked up this, this product. Um, so basically, um, I film professionally with my camera. Uh, on a daily basis, I shoot music videos, I shoot vlogs, I shoot weddings. So when it comes time to film stuff for my family, I really don't want to have to set up a big rig or have to think about it too much. I just want to work with my phone, you know. So what I ended up doing was I picked up a G7X Mark II. And for a while I was filming with that. Um, footage came out clean. But I just sat back one day and I was like, why am I filming with a 1080p camera or still filming with another camera when I have a $1,200 iPhone 12 that I can just film with, which is 4K, uh, 4K up to 60 frames per second, which is way better quality than what I was shooting with uh, on a G7X Mark II. So I sold that and I picked up this stabilizer as I'm pulling these items out. This is the clamp that you put on the back of your phone if you want to permanently put that on there so you can always clasp that onto the DJI Osmo 4. Um, other items that were included was a nice, um, as I pull it out of the plastic, gray carrying case, which is very nice. I actually do use that. I just put all the items inside of that bag, uh, the tripod, mini tripod, along with the body of the stabilizer, and it keeps it from getting scuffs or, or scratches on it. I like it a lot, so I'm glad they included that uh, with this setup. Um, while I'm unboxing this, I'll go ahead and let you know. You still have to have a little bit of talent when you're operating this device because some people seem to think you can just put your phone on this device or put your phone inside of a Ronin and everything you do will come out smooth. And that's not going to happen. You still got to have a little talent. You still got to know how to tiptoe. You still got to try to hold it level. Um, the item I'm pulling out now is just a sticky pad, I believe, that you put onto. No, it's a riser. That's a riser and a sticky pad that you put on there if you have a smaller phone to um, kind of put a little more space in between. That's all that is. But, yeah, you still got to have a little bit of technique with the way you're you're doing this. So that's just a heads up to people that think they're just going to plug this in and then it's going to solve all your problems and smooth out every move you make. That's not going to happen. You still got to have some talent and some technique with what you do. That being said, with this device, your phone is already shooting in 4K up to 60 frames per second up to 240 frames per second in 1080p it's beautiful it looks like a camera i mean if i was to shoot a music video or a vlog or something with this setup you wouldn't know the difference you wouldn't be able to know that i shot this with my phone that's how smooth it is and 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 really it's a game changer because when now when i go on vacation i don't have to bring all that stuff with me i don't have to Worry about setting everything up. My Atomos Ninja, uh, 15 to 35. It's a heavy setup. And because I do that for a living, it's just too much. That's the mini tripod. It is plastic. Um, you got your charging cable, USB-C to USB-A. I believe that's called Type-A. Um, works very well. Charges quickly. The battery life, I believe, is uh, it's either 8 or 12 hours on this um, device. I'll have to double check on that. This is the actual body of the gimbal. As you can see, it has a nice foldable design. The grip feels nice. Buttons press nice. It came a little above half charged up. Um, there's the quarter inch thread on the bottom. Trigger on the front press is nice. Uh, it's a nice de design and it feels sturdy. You really can't complain about that. The magnet on it um, is very nice. And as you can see, it folds down pretty, pretty tight. Joystick moves smooth and swiftly. It's a nice design, as always, with DJI. I like the color of, color of it. It's pretty stealthy, so it's nothing too much. It's just something for you to fit in. Now, um, as you can see, as I pull more of these, uh, these items out, now that's actually the riser. I'm sorry, I got it confused earlier, so I think that was just a sticky pad earlier. But um, 
yeah the magnetic the magnet is very strong and it gives you a nice click or like a like a thud like a clamp sound when you click it on there so i don't think it's going anywhere i i use mine i'll give you a heads up i was using mine with the iphone case like an outer box oh excuse me but it's harder for it to handle and smooth out your footage when you're using a case or something like that so your best bet if you want smooth footage is to take your phone out of that case and put it in there bare or naked you know just your phone it will not fall out i promise you and you'll get some smooth footage man here's a little close-up of the details and and that's going to be it for this video short and sweet no technical stuff just telling you the real world opinions on the items so y'all stay tuned let me know if you like this style of video and i'll keep doing them in this in this format